from as long as I can remember, you know, railroads have, have been a fascination for me. It's been a lot of years since trains rolled through this part of Carbon County, but if you look closely, you can still see some of the vestiges of a time gone by. You can see the old freight baggage going around the side. The old Belfry train station is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The Yellowstone Park Railroad came through here in 1906, and this station was built uh, in about June of that year. Bob Shella has chronicled that part of Montana's railroad history in a new book called Black Diamonds from the Treasure State. Much of it is centered here in Carbon County, where a young entrepreneur named Frank Hall arrived with big dreams to build a railroad. Frank Hall's goal was to was to get the line built all the way to Yellowstone, and this was going to be kind of the, the key point in his railroad, uh, his, his main station in Belfry. He had big plans for Belfry. Uh, he was hoping to uh, haul uh, ore from Cook City down here. He was envisioning a huge smelting operation and all of that stuff. This was going to be another anaconda. Hall did not succeed with a line to the park, but was successful in building a spur line to the nearby coal mines around Bear Creek. He spent a lot of time on the East Coast trying to raise money and, and in the end ended up building the railroad really on a shoestring. You can still see the bed where the railroad once ran in some places, even though the tracks have been gone for nearly 70 years now. In the 1920s, there were seven, seven major mining operations within the Bear Creek uh, uh, valley here. The remnants of one of them, the scene of Montana's worst coal mining disaster, are still visible. An underground explosion in the Smith mine in 1943 killed all but three of the miners inside. The railroad would also eventually pass away, shutting down in 1953 as the demand for coal dwindled, marking the end of the line for this chapter of Montana history. In Carbon County, Russ Riesinger, MTN News.